<clears throat> yes, this is a message for Bridge Church, Newberry Park, California, Evangelical Free Church. Uh, I'm coming to you today to warn you. Uh, I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 12, uh, starting in verse 31, the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I'm out warning many, many, many churches. Uh, God's called me to share the truth of the gospel, which has not been in the Christian church. A uh, little background, I've been in your church. Uh, I lived in Thousand Oaks. I'm now in Northern California. I've, uh, I came to the true gospel in 2001. Uh, God showed me the gospel in the book of Romans, and uh, uh, so I've studied this uh, since 2001 intently. So I'm, I'm not coming to you uh, with, uh, with uh, <laughs> uh, just a whim here. This has uh, been a, a long study, and uh, I'm going to many, many, many churches. Uh, I'm going to you because... Uh, I was in your church. I've gone to Agora Bible Fellowship. I was in that church for some time. Uh, and, uh, uh, well, to make a long story short, uh, you have a blasphemous sin gospel is what you have. You don't have the true gospel. And I'm going to share with you what the true gospel is. I know uh, most people just shun it and go on with their... Uh, with their business there in, the, in these churches. But any, in any case, uh, here I am, Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore, uh, Jesus speaking, wherefore, in the King James, by the way, not your newer corrupted versions, wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. Double period, colon. Here, Jesus never excluded anyone, all sin for all people for all time. But here it is for you. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh, it's all about speaking and teaching. A word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh, Against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come, the gospel age. Now, and uh, the Holy Spirit is the author, finisher, and interpreter of the Holy Scriptures. Verse 33, either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit. What is the fruit? The fruit is verse 31, the gospel. Everything is based on the gospel. The fruit is not our good works or somebody's good works. No, the fruit is the gospel. Verse 34, O generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak good things. It's all about speaking and teaching about the gospel. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And I'm telling you that wholesale Christianity, it, I don't care if it's uh, what denomination you're in, uh, in the Babylonian church, and I call it Babylonian because it's nothing but confusion. Who's right? The Pentecost? the Calvinists, the Arminians. <laughs> uh, it, it's, a, it's a hodgepodge of sin is what it is. There's one common thread between all of them, including Jehovah Witness, Mormon, uh, Amish, uh, you name it. Uh, it's, it's sin. You've kept sin here when sin was done away at the cross. Finished. Jesus' last words on the cross were, it is finished. He was quoting Daniel 9.24. To finish the transgression, put an end to sin. Did the church put an end to sin? No, they kept it here. That's why you're, uh, Jesus calls you workers of iniquity. 
You're just working up sin. You plow it up like a field, Isaiah says. Verse 35, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, speaks forth good things. He speaks forth the true gospel. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. You've made the treasure, the treasure is the gospel, you've made it evil by what you're preaching. Listen to this, verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. Who's going to be judged? Those who committed the unpardonable sin. That's all. The whole world will be in the kingdom of God. Yes, God saved the world before the foundation of the world. Read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. He chose us, us, the whole world, in him before the foundation of the world. But you who commit the unpardonable sin will be blotted out of the book of life. You can be blotted out. Serious matter here. This is why I'm coming to you. Serious, serious matter. Listen to verse 37. For by thy words, what you spoke forth about the gospel, thou shalt be justified, and by thy works, thou shalt be condemned. Listen, I've studied this for for 20-some years here intently. Uh, Am I justified? Yes, I'm preaching the true gospel. The true gospel is no law, no sin for no one. The whole world was saved before the foundation of the world. That's what Abraham believed. Abraham believed that God was going to save the whole world. That's what a believer has to believe. Or your faith is not counted as righteousness. Unless you believe that the whole world is saved, your faith is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. I know, serious matter, but uh, I have to share this with you. If I don't share it, uh, your blood will be on my head. But now my, your blood will not be on my head. I'm not here to start a church, a ministry, or church is over. The book of Revelation is telling us to come out of her. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins. Her is the unfaithful harlot bride the whore, the, the, the harlot, uh, the Christian Babylonian church. And he calls her Babylon, mystery Babylon. Not a mystery anymore. No. Babylon is confusion, and you've got nothing but confusion in the Christian church. Uh, I think anybody who has any common sense would have to see that uh, that is true. So I, I, I'm sharing this with you today. Uh, I, I hope you take heed. I hope the people, it's going to go on your YouTube site. Uh, you just can't kick people out of the church anymore when, when they don't agree with you. Uh, this is going to go on your YouTube site. People are going to see it. Somebody's going to uh, study this. Uh, study Luke uh, chapter, uh, Luke 13, 23 to 30. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31 to 37. Uh, in the book of Genesis, where he, he tells us about Abraham, uh, uh, that God told him that uh, the, to number the, the dirt on the ground, on the earth, that would be as many people as, as uh, would be in the kingdom. That's the whole world. It'll be a sad day. When these preachers think that they're, uh, they'll be saying, Lord, Lord. Remember what Jesus said in the parables, always to the teachers, Lord, Lord. So here is, in plain sight, uh, Romans 4.15 says, The law worketh wrath. The law, the Ten Commandments, works wrath. Where there is no law, there is no sin. No more law, no more sin. It was nailed to the cross Colossians 2.14. I hope you're studying your scriptures. Thank you.